Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jackie, and today I am making a video about healthcare <laughs> and um, about this article I saw about how healthcare is overrun with middlemen. And yeah, I, I can say that. I, I can I can vouch for this. Um, this article, this article right here, is based on an article that was in Forbes magazine. And it was it was by a doctor, Dr. Jan, and he was talking about the change of faces of healthcare, the rise of the middleman. And basically the middleman that he's talking about is is basically when companies, like when you have hospitals, clinics, doctors' offices, when you have them out when when they outsource jobs that should be done inside the facility, when they outsource it to a third party. Um, when they outsource it to a third-party company, that company becomes the middleman. It's the middleman between the doctor, the facility, and the patient. Do you understand? They're the middleman. And these companies promise to um, come in, do the work for you, uh, take the burden off. You won't have to worry about it, and uh, we'll save you money. When actually that's not that's not what happened, uh, because healthcare keeps going up because it's money to be made, you know, and and I can I can verify this, you know, I worked at two hospitals and the first hospital when I left that and this was a long time ago, like early two thousands, when I left that hospital, I went to work for a company that did workman's comp claim, and basically what they were is they were the third party facilitator. So what they would do, let's say a person got injured at work. Okay. They got injured at work. They went to the urgent care. That urgent care, because when you, when you get injured at work, it's, it's different. It's not just a regular insurance. Like if you, like I, like when I fell off, a, when I fell off the ladder, I went to the urgent care. I gave them my insurance. Work comp is different. It's not the same. It's not your regular health insurance. It's different. Same thing if you're, if you're in a car accident. You wouldn't so much use your insurance. You would use, if you, haven't, if you have car insurance, you would use um, the medical portion of that insurance. And so, um, so they're different. So clinics, so what the company did is they say, you know, don't worry about it. We'll contact the we'll handle all the billing for you we'll contact the the uh, insurance company and get this paid we'll get this taken care of for you and so they would take that portion like the workman's comp portion and they will handle it the company i work for y'all i know how much i got paid and and every every other week um i will get a bonus and it was a nice bonus that was like it was a nice bonus. And probably like, mm, mm, it was probably about, it was about 150 every month. So what is that? 12, 13, 14, it, 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 I, I, bonus, okay? And so, because we had quotas, we had quotas we had to meet and I would uh, surpass my quotas. Thank you very much. Cause you know, good at my job. And, and I would get my bonus. I think only one time I didn't get my bonus, and that's like when I first started. <laughs> okay, after that, that second week I was on. Okay, but um, that company also had an authorization department, and so like when you need to have a procedure done, and the your doctor calls and they had to get prior authorization, or you know the hospital has to get prior authorization. We did that too. That company did that too. So instead of your doctor handling it, the clinic handling, the hospital handling it, they outsourced it to a third party. You got bonuses. Everybody in there got bonuses for uh, meeting their quota. We had we had um, hospitals and clinics from the East Coast to the West Coast, North, South. And, um, we had whole hospital systems. So, like, if you have a hospital system, you know, a hospital can, system can have, like, eight hospitals. They can have 30 hospitals all over the country. We, ha we had that, too. So, do you know how much money that company was making? <laughs> okay. And explain to me how it lowered the cost. I, I, I don't think it lowered the cost. Because if it did, 
your your cost for healthcare will be lower today and it is not because and, and that was a long time that was the beginning that was like in the early 2000s just imagine what it is now same thing um when doctors call like so if a doctor um I'm pretty sure hospitals and doctors offices still do this because healthcare is is not um it's like put together like like this article called it Frankenstein healthcare is pieced together that that's how hospitals are especially hospitals you know one hospital may be more advanced than the other so like the hospital had a robot that brought the medicine to the floor instead of having somebody they also they also brought trays to the floor you know dinner trays lunch trays breakfast trays but then other medical facilities don't you know what i'm saying it's just it's just different but you had doctors when they would go see a patient they would come back because at the nurse station you know you had the nurse station secretary and then the doctors would go in the back and they and they had a phone and they would punch in they would call a number and they would dictate right and then whoever wherever whether here in america or overseas they would listen and they would dictate and then they will send a report and we will put it on the chart um that's outsourced <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's not the doctor um typing that up that's 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 outsourced now i will give credit they did uh catch on and uh, finally they got like um they had they had a system and the doctors would sit there and dictate and they would type up on the screen so you know we got that we got that technology now and um instead of having to call and outsource that to somebody else the doctor would just speak and then it would appear on the screen and be in the patient's chart so the technology is improving but that's just technology do you understand that that's not outsourced because outsource is someone, another company or a third party doing it. Whereas a doctor is speaking and the words appearing, that's technology. So a lot of things are, are outsourced. Same thing. Um, I, work, I work for uh, a company and Cigna, they, Cigna, the insurance company, they outsource their dental portion, right? So Cigna is an insurance company. They outsource their 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 dental portion so the dental benefits if someone called the patient call or the doc or dentist call want to know you know how much for this what what are the percentage all that stuff we told them we we didn't work for Cigna we work I work for we work I work for a different company that Cigna had outsourced to do the job do you understand like it's so much that's why our medical information is all over the world <laughs> okay our medical information is all over the world because these medical facilities outsource the inf they outsource everything they outsource the tasks instead of keeping it in in-house hiring people paying people they outsource it now i understand you know the need um for some things to be outsourced but like everything don't need to be outsourced all our information does not need to be all over this world, all over this country. It's just, I, I believe that's the reason why all these companies stay getting hacked. HCA uh, got hacked. I, I I did a video. Well, I didn't do a video, but I, I think I did a blog uh, post about it on my on my blog. And then um, I got a thing in the mail because one of my doctors is 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 there. So all my, <laughs> but anyway but so so they got hacked and uh but you know our, inf our medical information all over the place anyway so it's it's kind of you know but anyway so you know that's that's all you know these companies are supposed to help lower the the cost but they're they're not they're not i i've worked for way too many to know they don't lower the cost because i know what i get paid okay and you don't get paid the company makes more money okay they pay they pay the employees a couple of dollars and then and then they keep the rest look the cost is passed on to us as the consumer and that's that's just the way it is 
All right, if you have any questions or comments, you can put them below. You can also follow me on my blog. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.